welcome to this week's vlog i hope you're all doing really well i have missed you so much i'm really excited to be vlogging this week i'm about to do my makeup i've got my green juice if you watched my last video you will know this is with water not coconut water this time i've got spf on i don't know if i'm going to go out today or not but i wear it indoors anyway and then for primer slash foundation so this is a primer but i use it as foundation this is the tula face filter blurring and moisturizing primer and it is just my new favorite product so i do like two pumps maybe and then once it goes onto your skin it turns into a color so now that's just my skin done it's so easy um and this is in the shade sunrise i'm going to pop on a little bit of concealer this is laura mercier in the shade 2.5 we have so much to talk about, I don't know where to begin. I remember in my last vlog, I just got back from Paris and I was saying that I'm really happy to be at home for a bit. And then a really exciting trip with Moroccan oil came up and it was to go to the Stella McCartney show in Paris. And I just couldn't say no to that opportunity. And I've always wished to go to Paris Fashion Week, which is such a cool first experience. And I was just in awe watching everyone like get ready do their thing the outfits the people there i was just i feel like i was just in my element and then the show was incredible and it was like going down this huge runway that led up to the eiffel tower and there was like a marketplace alongside which was stella mccartney's marketplace and it had like vintage items it had linda mccartney's vegetarian sausages like it was just so cool okay one thing i will say though is the vibe and the energy at Paris, well this event, I don't know if it's like all fashion week shows, is very different to what I'm used to. I feel like the events I usually go to are so friendly, everyone's really chatty, but the vibe felt really like tense and I felt really intimidated. And I don't normally feel intimidated, so it was kind of strange. Um, but honestly, I was just so happy to be there. So um, yeah, it's just an observation. I've just popped on some, um, what is this, glow lighter by Rodeo. I love how like easily this blends into the skin. It looks really natural. This gives me a bit more of a bronzy color. And then since I've got back, it's just been so crazy with work. Um, I've been shooting so much. I've been doing loads of things, but I feel like I actually haven't got a lot to show for it, which is really annoying. Today's my first day where I don't have anything planned. I've got a meeting later this afternoon, but that's just a Zoom meeting. And I'm so looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to having a relaxing calm day and just feeling a little bit more zen because yeah last week was really stressful and i'm not good at managing my stress and i know that and i'm really trying to work on it and honestly when i have these moments where i just feel stressed all i want to do is pack up my stuff leave buy a barn in the countryside and just live there and then sometimes i'm kind of like why don't i just do that but then I remember I actually really love my life in London and I really love my apartment and I really love everything here. That is definitely a goal of mine. I think not right now. I think maybe my next place or possibly the place after, depending on my life, I want to buy a huge barn and I just want to rescue animals. Um, and that's been my dream since I can remember. That's all I want to do. I feel like I'm the last person to the party, but I've started using the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the prettiest, prettiest blusher. And it gives you such a nice glow as well. This mascara I'm using is the Dior Overcoal Mascara. I love it. Oh, home updates as well. I'm getting my bathroom cabinets fitted tomorrow, so I'm so excited to organize all of my beauty bits. And I'm also getting my jewelry, bespoke jewelry tray fitted in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna have a big like jewelry sort out with you guys as well. I always get asked to do like a jewelry collection um tour but there's so much i don't even know where to start but i will do my best to show you guys my favorite pieces and the ones i go for the most i'm just looking for gloss to wear today um, i'm gonna use my dior lip oil the cushion on this is so fat 
I love it. I've also got a lot of furniture arriving soon. Um, I was actually thinking yesterday, it's so funny, I think every single piece of furniture I've ordered has had like some major problem with it and it's all just been delayed by months and months and months but everything is ordered now apart from my bedside tables and it's just a case of sitting and fingers crossing that it all arrives in one piece. tray here in front of me that needs a serious sort so i'm going to get things out one by one and tell you my favorite pieces i have my cartier bracelet and my astrid and Miu welded bracelet this is the thin bangle i've tried to the thick one as well but it just doesn't work on my wrists um so yeah these two stay on me all the time i'm also currently not wearing my rings which is really weird i've only got this one on which is like this kind of like wave effect from Astrid and Miu. And I've also got this little like kind of tennis necklace on also from Astrid and Miu. I normally wear my diamond Missouri necklace that doesn't usually come off of me and I don't know why I'm not wearing it. I'm trying to think where it could be. Anyway, I'm gonna sort this out and then I'm gonna show you, that makes more sense. jewelry um sort out clearer oh i'm very shiny and my camera is flashing red one moment yeah i'm halfway through organizing sorting cleaning my jewelry collection and then i suddenly thought i've been at home all day and it's now dark i haven't been outside and i'm just i don't know i'm getting a bit itchy so i rang my boyfriend i'm gonna go to his tonight i don't usually go to his on a wednesday yeah the carpenters are here at 8 a.m tomorrow so i need to get everything prepared for them now before I leave tonight. So I'm gonna quickly organize my bathroom with you guys. So here is like a bit of a before. As you can see, we have all of this amazing space, but no shelves. So that's what we're getting put in tomorrow. Shelves, nice lighting, and like doors and everything. So at the moment, everything's displayed and it, it always looks messy and it just annoys me. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly put everything away. guys from RK Carpentry in again who did my wardrobes and this time we're doing the bathrooms as I mentioned so this is is this the cabinet this is the cabinet and the four oh, the bathroom oh, I can't That's wait to see it one on all lit inside yeah sensors oh so are these like strips down here that is are those lights as well those are light strips oh cool and you've got the makeup Light the light around the, around the border. Amazing. Oh my god, amazing. Here's how B's bathroom is currently looking. So the kind of like structure is in. And then my bathroom is still underway. Good morning guys. So the carpenters are here doing the bathroom cabinets. And I always feel a bit nervous about these things. Obviously they're not cheap and I don't know, like small details often seem to go wrong and they stress me out. So fingers crossed with these guys, to be fair, as I mentioned, they did my wardrobes and I had zero faults with my wardrobe. It's like the one thing in the apartment that actually was like completely perfect. So I've got a lot of faith in them. Um, but whilst they're here, I thought I would quickly go through my jewelry collection with you guys. Um, by the way, I've got no makeup on and my hair, I've let it like air dry and it's got like a really nice wave to it today. So I'm quite happy about that. So yeah, here is my jewelry collection i've laid it all out on the table so i can have a really good idea of what i have what i have too much of if there is anything i can donate so two rings that i really rarely take off are my cartier love ring which i bought when i hit 500,000 followers i was in paris and as you guys know it's often a lot cheaper to shop in paris so i bought it and it's just a nice way to remember that buy and then this other this is a diamond ring it is a half eternity ring so it's only half diamonds 
and I wear this one all the time. This one is from Chupi, I think that's how you say it. And then in terms of all of my other rings, I tend to mix up a lot, but my two favorite brands for rings, I have to say are Monica Vinida and Majuri. I have a couple from Astrid as well, but with Astrid being plated gold rather than solid gold it's not good to wear every single day and as i mentioned before i like to keep my jewelry on all the time Ooh. so with my astrid rings like this one super pretty it's like this kind of crossover effect i'll wear this as and when i feel like it okay and i've got lots of statement earrings which i really love i've got these ones these are just h&m so i don't know what the longevity is going to be like on them and you know what? i would really love something like this in a real gold because i just think these are so timeless they give you like vintage vibes but these are still in stock so i'll have these ones linked down below um another pair of statement earrings i wear a lot are these ones from cos so they're kind of like that bottega style with like the drop but they're not a bottega dupe with the bottega dupes they are the exact same like you cannot tell the difference so so i kind of wanted something like a little bit different and these ones are really nice these i'm just looking at them now they're a little bit scratched and a little bit tarnished, which is of course reflected in the price. I think these were under 30 pounds. Um, I've got some really beautiful pieces from Soru. They're a really nice brand. They have really individual looking pieces as well. I've got these really cute heart pendants and I haven't actually worn these so much as I would like. Um, yeah, they're gorgeous. They're like covered in all of these uh, kind of crystals and it has a pearl in the middle. Another pair that I love from Soru are these little shells these are i mean i wouldn't wear these in the winter these are summer holiday earrings do you know what i mean now these are one of my favorite pairs these are also from soru like look how extra they are they just look so expensive like these are so perfect if you're just wearing an all black outfit and you want to really elevate it and make it look a lot more glamorous these are the ones i've got a lot of fine dainty necklaces but not a lot of statements i have this one from heavenly london i wear this all the time it's like this diamond style choker it's not with diamonds this is probably like cubic zirconia or something and it's just these little hearts they're so pretty and again this just makes an outfit look so expensive and then in terms of necklaces my most worn by far is the Missouri diamond necklace and I actually love it so much I have two sizes so this is the smaller size and then I also have the larger size uh, but I left that one at my boyfriend's and what I love about it is it's just so simple and dainty but because it's a real diamond it really catches your eye so I get so many compliments on it and it's just it goes with everything whether you're dressing up or dressing down it's just a really good like staple necklace to have so i'm a big fan um and my jewelry is amazing because it really does not tarnish at all as you can see i have a lot of hoops but in fairness they're all slightly different but i'm looking at this and i know this is excessive but i just love a hoop you can't go wrong with a hoop a really good pair that are just so simple are these ones again monica vinida and monica vinida they're actually really good as well because if your jewelry does tarnish which so far none of mine have, um, you can send it back and they will recoat it for you or whatever they do. I've also got this ring here from Monica Vinida, but I think it's a little bit small, so that's why I don't wear it. Yeah, it is a bit small, but it's like in their signature, but this is like their signature kind of like shape that I really love. I also have this in a bangle, but I'm currently lending it to B. All of my hoggies, pretty much all of them, 90, of them are from Astrid and Miu. I just love their huggies. They're so pretty and they're just amazing for stacking. They work so nicely together. I obviously work with a lot of these jewelry brands as well, which is why I have so much, which I feel very lucky and grateful for. Another pair that are a like really good staple for me are these little pearl huggies. These are from Missouri and I've worn these so much for so many years. I also think in terms of like capsule wardrobe, for jewelry i think a nice chunky chain for a bracelet is important well not important but you know what i mean this one again is monica vinida i feel like monica vinida gold is quite noticeable because it's a really bright yellow gold compared to other pieces i have that like are more champagne um i love both to be honest i also love wearing little tennis bracelets this is from astrid and miu and it's just so thin and like pretty um, so I'm normally wearing one of those at the moment. I've got a thicker one as well from Astrid and Me You. I would absolutely love to have a real diamond uh, tennis bracelet. That's on the wish list. I feel like I'm talking about all of these glamorous, pretty jewels, and I just look so not glamorous right now. 
but it's fine. It's, oh, and my jewelry tray has just arrived. Richard from RK Carpentry has just dropped it over, so I can now fill it up with all of these pieces. I'm really excited. So it's like this kind of hidden tray that pops out and I've got my belts here, some sunnies and then all of my jewellery is now organised. For my necklaces I'm going to hang them somewhere else um, but this is perfect for like rings and earrings and it's just so easy and clear to see now. Now the bathrooms are done, are you ready? I'm so excited to show you. Oh my god guys, they're done. I am obsessed. <laughs> It's exactly what I wanted and it makes the room, I thought it was going to make the room look smaller but it actually makes it look bigger. So there's this like beautiful light that goes all the way around so you have amazing lighting in here now. And then these are the internals, so this is Bee's bathroom, so she has all of this storage. And then we've obviously got like the shaving socket, more storage here. I just think it makes the bathrooms look so much more luxurious. And then here is how mine is looking, mine are a lot taller than Bee's but a bit like less wide all of the shelves i was so excited to fill these only problem is the highest i can reach is the first shelf one two three i there's no way i can reach those so, so yeah i'm very grateful that we have tall ceilings but that is the only thing so nice and then there's also a little switch that means you can like dim them make them warmer make them cooler so happy with them it's really made a huge difference and they whipped this up in a whole day i mean they made it on site and then they brought it over and then it installed it but yay i'm just so happy I feel like when I'm planning all of these things and they're getting done, I don't appreciate it at all. And then once it's done, I just feel so grateful and I just can't believe this is my home. Like now it's all filled up and it's looking so lovely. Oh, it just makes me so happy when things come together. Um, but yeah, I filled it all up and it kind of looks like I've done it in colour order, but that wasn't intentional. I've got my fake tan and body bits here, hair care here. Uh, more hair care, skin care, and then at the top are things that I have either bought because I don't like to run out of them or um, just extra PR that I know that I'll use. And then here is like my teeth stuff and my like everyday skincare. It's just so cool. And I'm just really happy as well. The bathroom feels so much more clean because there's not so much like clutter. It's actually crazy how much clutter clutters your mind like i didn't realize but when i used to walk in here i felt a bit stressed but now i walk in here and i feel calm because everything is put away i mean it's lacking character though let's be honest so i'm definitely going to get some like little accessories and bits and bobs to make it feel a little bit less sterile i don't know what should i what can i do maybe like some colorful towels or or maybe like a colourful hand wash and moisturiser. Auntie B's home in a minute and she's going to see their new bathrooms. Are you excited to see Auntie B? Are you? Are you a meerkat or are you a rabbit? What are you? Oh, you're a meerkat. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god. This is amazing. Isn't it? So that makes it warm, cool, light and dark. Shut, what the fuck? That is so cool. Isn't it? What the hell? Wait, oh my God, my, my lights aren't even on in here. No. Wait. Hello and good morning guys. I've had a few deliveries this morning to finish off my jewelry organizing i had like lots of loose bits of jewelry that didn't really have a place so let me show you what i bought so i found this jewelry box on amazon it's from a brand called stackers and it's really cool because you buy these boxes individually and then you basically stack them so if i wanted to have more room i can just buy another one to attach onto it 
Um, I bought it in black and this is how the inside looks. So in here I'm just keeping like chunky bits of jewellery, you know, like chain necklaces, some costume jewellery, just like things I don't have space for. I've also got these watches, I've got some from Captain and Son, Clues, uh, Paul Valentine. To be honest, I really rarely wear these watches now, but um, I really like them, so I'm keeping them. I've just noticed the sticker is still on this. I love these stickers. So satisfying. And then for all of my like dainty fine necklaces, I wanted to hang them somewhere discreet. So I've just popped them in my bedroom wardrobe and I bought these little um, stick on hooks and it's just perfect here, I think. And yeah, this just works for me. I think this is perfect. A good way of seeing everything clearly. And then I can just pop my other box here underneath my clothes. So guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here, but before I do, I... I was really umming and ahhing about uploading this video on Sunday because it just feels so wrong at the moment posting on social media just given what's going on in the world and I've been closely following the news every single day since everything kind of erupted. It's just incomprehensible what is going on to so many innocent people, women, children. I just can't imagine what these people are going through and if any of you are affected directly with what's going on I just send so much love to you and I wish there was more I could do I'm obviously donating supporting friends and family who are affected by it and I've had a few messages on Instagram you know asking why I haven't posted about it on Instagram and honestly there's a whole ton of reasons why that I don't feel like I need to go into but just because somebody isn't posting it doesn't mean they don't care and they're not trying to help in other ways but yeah I just felt really wrong not to say anything and it still feels wrong posting things but at the same time life can't just be put on hold I'm just hoping and praying for peace and I hope all of you are safe okay so completely switching topics now so something very insignificant and well, I mean everything just feels insignificant and silly compared to what's going on but um I announced the winner of my Hermes belt giveaway on Instagram yesterday and I was putting this off for, I was supposed to do it on Wednesday and I just kept on putting it off because again it felt so weird. I had some like ads that had to go live so those were like non-negotiable for me um, but, per but I didn't really want to post anything personal. But anyway I did on Saturday, I was really nervous because I don't know it was just such a big gift for me to give to somebody and I was just really hoping that they were happy with it and that it was going to somebody who would really appreciate it because guys I've actually done giveaways before and people haven't even <laughs> said thank you so I sometimes get a bit nervous that people don't care um but the winner was so lovely um I did a random generator it selected her account she just so happened to be a fellow fashion lover living in London she was so happy so I can't wait to send that to her this week but yeah sending love and hugs to you guys I love you all so 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 much I'll see you in next week's video I've got another video coming up bye